These are the beaches of Tel Aviv, but to some they sound more like a battlefield. Punctuating the air with a racket that resembles machine gun fire is the rat-tat-tat of fast-moving, hard-hitting paddleball matches. The sport is called matkot in Hebrew, and for decades it's been considered a tranquil seaside pastime. Beachgoers gently hit a squash ball back and forth with wooden rackets. There's no winner or loser, just two people trying to keep the ball aloft. But in recent years, Israelis have pushed the sport's boundaries and started hitting the ball harder and harder. They invented rules to make it competitive, with two-person teams battling to string together as many hits as possible in a three-minute time span. This more aggressive style of play became known as Bat Yam style, named for the city where it was invented. But now, people are starting to draw a line in the sand, saying enough is enough. Many beachgoers think the sound of Matkot is annoying, and worse is when errant balls hit pedestrians walking on the beach. A 15-minute movie was posted to YouTube last summer called Matkot, The End, and it featured some of the walking wounded. The movie is the work of Tam Shinan and Loran Goldberg. Their goal is to get the sport banned from public beaches. The video touched a nerve. Within days, it had over 100,000 views. Matt Coat players cried foul. They claimed the video had defamed one of Israel's iconic pastimes. After the video hit the web, the local city government in Netanya, outside Tel Aviv, canceled the 2012 Matt Coat Championships. City officials said it was due to lack of interest, not complaints about the sport. But Matt Coat players said no, it was because of the video. In any case, it hasn't been enough to stop the Tel Aviv boardwalks from filling up with competitors grunting and smashing their way through yet one more Matt Coat match. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Charles Levinson in Tel Aviv.